We finally made it to Sally's stage play. Is she hard to S rank? I don't think so, but it really depends on you having the right charms and equipment. So remember, in order to S rank Sally, you need to beat her in less than two minutes, you need to parry three times, you need to finish the boss with three health, you need to use six bars of super, and you need to play on expert mode. For the love of God, take Smoke Bomb, just take it. Through the first three phases, Smoke Bomb can be used to safely dodge both Sally herself and big projectiles like the Tidal Wave, more on that later. Spread is also going to be your best friend for the first three phases, but after that I would recommend Roundabout or Chaser. The thing that makes Sally a pain to S rank is that she only has two different projectiles that can be parried, the hearts she blows out in the first phase and the pink roses in the final phase. In the first phase, focus on doing damage, but make sure you parry at least two of the hearts before you move on to the next phase. If you only end up with one or, or no hearts, just reset. Just start fresh. In the first phase, there are two of her attacks I want to point out. The first is when she jumps and throws a fad at you. A little trick I like to use is when she jumps up to throw, run or dash underneath her so she throws the fan straight down. The fans can cause damage to you if you walk into them, so if the fan is overlapping with her actual body, that's just one less attack to worry about. The second is when she disappears. She's going to drop down somewhere near your position. It may be directly on top of you, but it may also be a little bit to the left or to the right, so the safest way to dodge this is to just keep moving. When you see her falling from the ceiling, smoke bomb to make sure you clear her falling body. The first phase is pretty simple, but just make sure you don't get cornered by Sally. She's too tall to jump over, and if you aren't careful about your positioning, she could easily trap you. Make sure to use Smoke Bomb to stay near the middle of the screen. When the curtain falls, use Roundabout to start prepping attacks for her. When she shows her face, use your super right away. This second phase is kind of a pain, so it's good to shorten it as much as possible. There aren't really any tricks for this, but it's just important to pay attention to all the attacks coming your way. While at first there seemed to be an overwhelming amount of projectiles, they're all very easy to dodge individually. On top of Sally's dive kick and fan attacks, she'll also be summoning wind up mice. These mice will drop to the floor underneath her, then drive to the left and right side of the screen before climbing up the walls and then slowly falling on your position. The horrible Bruh. children also drop bottles of milk on you from random windows. This will always go straight down, and, but is also very easy to dodge. Just try not to jump too much or a baby might smash your head in with a bottle if you're not paying attention. Smoke Bomb here is absolutely crucial because there's a good chance she'll start boxing you into a corner. Like before, use your Smoke Bomb to get back to the center of the screen if you feel uncomfortable. Alright, third phase. When Sally summons the meteor, be sure to shoot it as soon as possible to summon a pink star. This star is used to help you get past the tidal wave attack that sweeps the entire screen. But note that parrying the pink star does not count as one of the S rank parries you need. Other than that, she'll use lightning, which causes bolts of lightning to fire down at you diagonally from the ceiling. Keep an eye on the trajectory and smoke bomb away if things are getting too hairy. Whenever you're not dodging, stay underneath her and spray her with spread and she'll go down really fast. In the fourth phase, if you don't have all three parries yet, this is your last chance to get it. Some of these roses will be pink, so make sure you parry them when they fall from the ceiling before the phase ends. Once you have all three, it's a great time to use your super in the air to make the phase go by faster. If you're really struggling with this phase, I recommend using the chaser to help you get through it. Even without using a super in this phase, I managed to beat her under 2 minutes using the chaser with plenty of time to spare, so don't be ashamed to switch over if you're having trouble. And there you go, every last Cuphead boss now has an S rank guide. Maybe it's time to go back and update my really old ones. Let me know in the comments below which boss you want me to revisit.